Hi guys, starting off the vlog immediately. <laughs> Welcome back to the vlog. Welcome to Sunday. This is very hopefully a Sunday with no scaries vlog. And honestly, I just want to take you guys along today. I feel like this summer vlogging has given me just so much a sense of normalcy and routine and like me being my best self and trying to thrive. I love vlogging and honestly, I've been so stressed, especially this weekend. I haven't been able to pick up the camera. I haven't been able to edit. I have not literally been able to do anything and I feel very unbalanced. So I scheduled the Sunday with no scaries video for this week and we are going to just try to get our lives back together, try to feel like we're in routine. I feel like I've been saying this in literally every single summer vlog. Routine just doesn't exist as much as I want it to, especially in the summer. And you just kind of have to make the most with the pockets of normalcy that you can. I talked about this a little bit on my chatty vlog. August, especially, I have not been able to like do anything or be anything for myself all month. Lollapalooza, traveling, birthdays, just so many different things I feel like are happening. I haven't had just like two days to myself, but it's okay, not complaining, because we're gonna have that this upcoming week. We're gonna have just a whole entire work week of relaxation and getting back to routine and focusing on just me. We have some social plans today, but I feel like this is kind of the last of it. Oh yeah, I'm wearing eye patches. I feel like this is actually the kind of the last of like my social bender for August. And I don't even mean to say that like I regret any of the social things I've been having. I love everyone I've been seeing. I feel very grateful to even have friends at all to spend time with. I feel very, very full in that way. I've seen all of my New York friends, long distance friends, meeting friends for the first time. Like I feel like I've filled so much of that cup for me, but I haven't been filling into my own like individual independent cup. So we're going to start that today and I want to take you guys along today for a Sunday of No Scaries vlog because we're fixing our hair today. I feel like I'm just a dark hair girly you guys and I need to tone my hair like right now. This was really fun for the summer but if you can't tell I'm trying to just like get rid of my summer self right now. I'm entering fall. Pre-hibernation season like I need cold weather. I need to not sweat so much. I need dark hair and yeah so we're just going to get back to like our normal life today. Pick it back up. We're going to do some growth grocery shopping, some planning. You guys know the drill. So we're going to start today with a Sunday with no scaries vlog. No Sunday scaries here. Let's fix this hair. Okay, guys, here's my hair. Oh my god. Let me know what you think. I feel like I just dyed my hair lighter like maybe two months ago or something But I just really wanted to go back dark. I feel like this just feels more me Wow, but I love it because I wanted to do still like a hint a hint of warmth With the toner even though I was going back darker and I feel like you guys can tell like I feel like I can still see The warmth even though overall this is very dark and I love it. I'm ready for fall What I told her was that I wanted a sultry deep dark brown with a hint of warmth with my toner and I feel like that's exactly what Joanne gave me. I'm gonna link Joanne down below. You guys know I love her and she's just truly the best. Seriously, she's the best. Here's the finished look. So it's currently mid-August and I scheduled my next toner for mid-November. So we'll see how this lasts for the next three months, but I'm really hoping that I honestly won't need a toner until November. It'll be a little bit lighter, of course, but that's the nice part about having dark hair is that it won't fade as quickly as the light hair, so. Wow, it's so pretty. And with the new camera? Okay, let's go home. I need to go get ready for this birthday lunch. And then afterwards, I'm gonna do some groceries, plan out my meals for the week, and I'm gonna probably get some editing done too. So yeah, it'll it'll tone down towards the end of the day. Can you tell in the natural light? It's, oh my God. Okay, let's go home. Okay, very quick Whole Foods haul. I ended up going to Whole Foods because I had to pick up a birthday cake, but here's what I got. Spring mix and a kale Caesar packet. This was on sale. This was also on sale at Whole Foods if you have Amazon Prime. La Colombe cold brew coffee. I really like having cold brew just kind of like pre-made. I think it's honestly worth it because I don't have cold brew too, too often. So got this. I got a half loaf of sourdough. I don't usually get sourdough. I usually get like the harvest bread from Whole Foods. So I got this to try. This is the yogurt that we're gonna have for the week. I don't usually get Siggy's too, but I just felt like I was at Whole Foods and I was like, I'm just gonna change it up. So Siggy's is really, really good. This is like a higher sugar content than I would like, but I just think Siggy's tastes literally amazing. So this will be a good like mid-afternoon snack or good breakfast with some berries. And then we got some chicken breast. This is our big protein of the week. So we have this, we have other stuff in the freezer though. So I just wanted to have like one fresh thing and then we'll work on stuff in the freezer. And then some berries, washed blueberries and washed strawberries. And there they are. 
The cake that I got for our friend Ryan is in the fridge right now. I'm gonna show you. I got this. This is like his birthday gift from me, just this huge giant cake from Whole Foods. It's kind of hard to see, but it's a really, really good cake. And you can personalize your cakes kind of like right then and there when you get your cakes from Whole Foods. I think Whole Foods has a really, really good deal and just quality price for their cakes and their baked goods and specifically their fruit tart if you guys are over cakes for birthdays get a fruit tart from whole foods so so good still put candles on it and it's like amazing it's fresh fruit really good tart custard it's like so so good but if you want to get normal cakes and write like happy birthday something on it you can do that on the spot and you don't have to do it ahead of time and it's really really nice so whole foods is definitely the move for that well my hair is already done for lunch which is really good so i just have to change put on a little bit of makeup i have my brows filled in and stuff already but i need to do like mascara and stuff i'm gonna do very minimal because i just don't have time i have to leave like right now so i'm gonna change really quick and i'll see you guys after lunch <laughs> Brunch was literally so much fun. I got the most, you guys, wasn't that so good? It was called, I believe it was called the Warm Global from Dacha in Navy Yard in Washington, DC. Oh my gosh, it was so freaking delicious. Everyone was like, what did you get? And I was like, the Global. But it was so good. I also got a really yummy Moscow or like mox cow meal mocktail. It was really, really good. It's basically just like a very refreshing lime juice soda type of drink so that was really good i've been drinking this box trot matcha latte as i'm just like getting my life together in my planner i have my google calendar up and i want to do my weekly meal planning too which i feel like i showed you guys my weekly meal planning and my google calendar last time so i'm not gonna like show your screen or anything in this video if you want to see like how i actually use it on a weekly slash daily basis check out this video and we're just like honestly trying to get back and like preparing for a routine to start again tomorrow i feel like what's really hard about sundays and what like and part of what creates sunday scaries for us is just feeling like there's so much coming that it feels overwhelming the more that we think about it and that's why i really like sunday with no scariest days because if i can just like prepare myself and try to like take away as many mental things as possible so that as the week starts i already know what i'm doing i know what the plan is i know like what days i'm working out all these things what i'm eating then it just honestly makes sunday feel more like a prep day rather than like an incoming doomsday type of feeling i used to struggle a lot really with sunday scaries and i feel like what's really changed with me to improve my feeling of sunday scaries was one just having better relationships relationship with my job and setting better boundaries and preparing myself for success in that way but also just planning like I've been talking about it all year you guys and, and if you've been watching my channel since 2020 I used to be so big on planning and that's what helped me like really start my channel was I just felt like my life was as together as possible and, and so 2021 and 2022 when I incorporated my YouTube channel I felt like I kind of lost control of planning and it wasn't really helping me anymore so I just kind of stopped altogether but this year in 2023, I was like, no, we're gonna get back to my 2020 self. We're gonna get back to feeling like I have my life together all the time as best as I can, as humanly possible. It's August now, we're over halfway through the year and I really feel like doing this whole planning system is just truly what's really helped me. So we have a huge to-do list. Here's how it looks, lots of stuff. And we're finishing up the Google Calendar prep. It's nothing really crazy i'm just trying to plan out like what i'm working out what appointments i have outside of work any events which i don't have any until thursday thank goodness because i'm really just trying to prepare myself to get back into routine starting tomorrow so today is just like a huge prep day so summer is crazy but i feel like doing this really helps kind of like ease my mind and there's a little bit less to worry about other things i need to do is like make sure my credit cards are paid plan my meals for the week and you guys saw my like mini grocery haul i'm honestly just trying my best to use what's in the freezer until the lease ends so the grocery hauls have been very very minimal but i feel like hopefully that's smart so plan out my meals and then i want to organize my clothes today too because i have a lot of stuff to organize so laundry's going we have lots of things in progress but now our plans are officially done and i can just kind of like rest and prep and edit for the rest of the day.
Okay, got rid of so much stuff in my closet. I feel so good about everything because here's a little sneak peek about our future Princess Polly haul. I'm filming this probably in the next week or two and I'm not gonna show you everything. Oh my God, guys, I'm obsessed. Everything is so, so cute. And I feel like having an updated declutter every time I get new clothes is just a really good way to not accumulate so much all the time because we don't have a lot of closet space in this apartment. And that, and that was a really huge thing in the next place that we look for. We just really wanted to have more than this for closet space. So it's a must to do frequent declutters. Also, I need to blur out my unit number, but here is where we're kind of accumulating everything for the new place. We got two rugs from Ruggable. One's a kitchen runner and one is a bathroom mat which I'm so freaking excited about it's like taking everything in me to not open them but I just cannot wait and it's gonna be a surprise you guys don't know what they look like yet but they are so pretty I feel like Ruggable is pretty expensive but they were doing a 20% off sale or maybe it was 25 I don't know but it was the highest discount off that I had seen in a really really long time so I tried to take advantage of it especially because the next place that I rent I really want to mentally sign it for two years so I figured it was a good time to invest on rugs but rugs for the living room and bedroom I think we're going to keep doing a more affordable like rugs USA option just because they get stepped on all the time I think it's nice honestly for a change of environment and space to change out your big rugs but for stuff like runners and bath mats that doesn't really need to be changed often so that's where it is i think i'm done everything all i really need to do now is eat dinner edit and read for the rest of the night which reminds me i haven't updated you guys but i am on chapter i think 20 of a court of thorns and roses wow this book mm, this book is really good i don't know why i was nervous that i wouldn't like this book but guys i was a twilight girly growing up i like literally went to like the midnight premiere of all of their books starting from like sixth grade and i was obsessed like obsessed with vampires and wolves and stuff so but then i feel like that was a whole different lifetime so when i got back into reading like what 10 10 years later I guess I didn't really think about fantasy, but this book is so good. If you guys know chapter 19, once I read it, I was like, it's over. Just kidding. I also have never gotten so many responses on my Instagram story when I said I was reading this than any other book I've ever read, which is only five. But you guys really, really love this book if you've read this before in this whole series. And a lot of you say the second book is even better than the first. I already know I'm gonna get comments saying that. And so now I'm like, man, I really need to finish this book so I can read the second. It's honestly been really fun, like kind of diving into this whole world of, of Core of Thorns and Roses. I feel like since we had brunch pretty late, I'm like, I wasn't hungry until now, but it is almost like 7.30. I'm hungry. I think Thomas and I are gonna make one of the salad kits for dinner with like some chicken to just have something like a little bit healthy. I think Thomas is gonna have the kale Caesar salad kit that I got today with chicken. And then I'm gonna have one of the leftover fish with like rice or something because there's one over leftover from when I made it on Friday night. So I think it's planned for dinner, nothing really crazy, but honestly I need to edit. And that takes like such a big chunk of time because I kind of saved it for last. I just feel like I got a lot of things done today that make me feel like my life is together and that I'm back on my routine. And now I can just kind of like dive into Monday feeling ready for it instead of feeling like I'm waiting until Monday to face everything. So yeah, I just feel a lot better about everything. Let me know if you guys have that one like type of chore or task that you just put off for weeks and weeks and weeks until the last possible second. For me, it's sending off packages. I just can't get myself to go to the UPS store or FedEx or there's just so many different stores and I just feel like it's so hard to go to all of them. <laughs> so I feel like I just kind of hold it off until the very, 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 very end and I have like an espresso recycling thing that I've been waiting to ship off for like weeks now and yeah, stuff like that. I just wanna know what is like the one chore that you always put off, like returns slash giving away packages to the <laughs> proper tracking store or what? What is your dreaded chore? Okay, I'm hungry. Here's our final dinner. Thomas is having a chicken kale Caesar and I'm having a fish kale Caesar. <laughs> Sounds a little weird, but I'm having leftovers of this fish that I made from Rachel's Good Eats's baked crusted halibut. And I used cotton instead, but it was so freaking good. And I had one left over. So healthy dinner now.
That's what I used to do all the time to my mom with Timmy. Hi. Hi, handsome. Baby's getting groomed again on Tuesday, and Baby's he's gonna get so a short handy. groom. So right? that he's not so fluffy. He's so fluffy. Hi guys, it is like, oh my gosh, it's like 10 o'clock, I need to go to sleep. I can't wait to just like read a chapter or two and then go to sleep, but I honestly had such a productive day. This was meant to be just like a Sunday with no scaries, just trying to prepare myself to have a good week this upcoming week instead of saving it all for tomorrow, like a doomsday thing. I feel like a lot of us, I used to do that a lot and I still do all the time, but when I wake up and I tell myself this is a Sunday with no scaries, I just kind of go into the whole day thinking like what would make tomorrow great, not what would make Sunday less bad, if that makes sense. So I feel like I did a lot of planning, a lot of prepping. I still was able to see some friends and stuff and it was just overall a really, really good day and I hope you guys enjoyed coming along. And again, let me know what you guys think of the new hair. I just genuinely, like I feel like this is just so much more me having dark hair, but I think it was really fun for the summer and I can't really have this like dark brown hair unless I do the foils that I did before. So it's all very, I feel like it's all very full circle now because this was the original goal to begin with. So let me know what you guys think and I think that's it. I'm gonna start a vlog tomorrow. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. I post new videos every Tuesdays and Fridays. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video, but until then, miss you already. Bye.